Hey everyone, I just wanted to share a little bit of what we bought for our big upcoming Montana camping trip. Um, we bought a lot of like fancy things that we don't, or like processed food that we don't normally buy. So kind of spendy, we did spend a lot on these groceries and we, it doesn't even include everything that we need for it. So we still need like produce and stuff like that. But I just want to give you a reminder that being vegan is totally affordable. You don't need these fancy fake meats and fancy like processed sugars and all that stuff. Bananas and rice and beans do just fine. Well, we'll start off with the Beyond Burger, of course. My partner actually like splits these so we can get more uses out of it. So our family of three can eat pretty good off a package of two. And so these are a favorite. We really love them on the grill. My partner is actually not a big fan of when they're like cooked on the stove top or stuff, but he loves them when they're like cooked over a fire or whatever. We have some graham crackers. I was hoping to make a recipe that um, they're like trail mix bars. Or wait, these ones are actually for the s'more bars. So we'll, hopefully those will turn out tasty and I can share the recipe if we, we dig them. We're gonna be using these for our s'mores because we just discovered this is the best thing ever, peanut butter cups on s'mores. We saw it on the Vegan Zombies YouTube channel. Great suggestion. All right, Vigo, camping staple. We always, this is like one thing we look forward to for camping because we don't really eat it throughout the year. Um, fruit snacks. These will be a good road trip snacks. I know we're driving through Montana. I'm guessing there's not going to be a lot of places to stop at all, if any. So we're just going to have a bunch of easy stuff we can pull out if we need. Um, bana banana chips. Yeah, we're going to be making some homemade trail mix. It'll have a lot of dried fruit and some nuts and stuff like that in there. Oatmeal. I'm thinking these will be really nice for easy mornings where we just boil water and then we just throw these in there. Oh, I could be saying this up nicer, maybe. Whatever. Lots of peanut butter. We like this stuff. It's not, um, doesn't have a lot of ingredients. It's just literally peanuts and a little bit of salt. So we, we dig this stuff a lot. Coconut milk. I'm trying to develop a recipe for like a really easy camping curry. So fingers crossed that that turns out. Artichoke hearts. Um, we got a ton of beans and we're like a big bean family. So we got some black beans and some garbanzo beans, like literally tons. And Natural Grocers now has a brand that, so it's like 99 cents. Well, this isn't beans, but for a can of beans. And then we have corn that'll be used for a tortilla soup recipe. And we have a video on that. So check that out. And then garbanzo beans, and then we have um, diced tomatoes, fire roasted, of course. This is like literally a staple. Every time we go to the grocery store, we buy, buy these. And then black olives, which we'll, we're trying to come up with another recipe for um, campfire pizzas. So I'll let you know how those turn out. Raisins. The guys really love raisins. Me, I, I'm just, I can't, I can't with raisins. Disgusting. We got quite a few packets of these. I'm thinking these would be nice to bring on the trail when we're hiking. And I'll pack some like rice cakes or something like that to go with it. We got the hazelnut butter and then the, I really like this, the vanilla one. Then we got some of these baked beans, the vegetarian ones, so I'm thinking these would be really awesome with some veggie dogs. Got some red lentils. I'm gonna be making um, lentil burgers, hopefully. So it's like sloppy, like a sloppy joe type thing. So I'm really looking forward to these. I don't like traditional sloppy joes, but I do like the vegan ones I've tried. Some breakfast tea. Some yogurt, chocolate. This is Milo's treat. These are a very special treat, organic sour twists. These look amazing. I'm really excited. Pancake mix, zero fat. These are the best rice cakes ever to exist. 
I'm serious. We don't eat any other brand. I really like this Lundberg stuff, but the cinnamon toast with a little bit of like almond butter, peanut butter, whatever, whatever you do. Just do it. Don't, don't buy any other kind. Lentil and roasted red pepper soup. This is really awesome. Um, we'll add like potatoes. That, that was our favorite camping meal last summer is we would do this and then we'd add like a few like yellow potatoes and then we'd eat it with like fire roasted corn over the grill and yeah, so good. Garbanzo bean flour. We bought this for French toast. We'll hopefully be eating after this video. We get done filming this. So we have like tons of dates here. Four bags of dates. I'm going to be making some date balls. We're like, that's a big thing in our house is date balls. One for camping or in between like work and the gym or whatever. So we have some like Hawaiian ones and then we have um, yeah, Nora dates. I don't know. Good dates anyways. So Eat dates, guys. We need sugar. Got some cranberries for our trail mix. These are one of our favorite cliff bars, the cool mint ones. Cliff bars, of course. We got also the white chocolate macadamia nut one. Rolled oats. Um, I'm gonna be making this is for the trail mix bars. So I'm gonna be making some of those to be able to pull out really easy when we're hiking or whatever we're doing. So I saw this stuff at the grocery. We've never like bought it or anything but I'm thinking it'd be really awesome for like camping like curries or whatever it would do and I'm even thinking we could like make a like simple fried rice out of this so I'm really excited about this stuff because we don't really eat it I mean we eat like rice and beans and stuff but anyways vegan jerky the, this is the best brand that we've tried um we'll probably save this for the for hiking, maybe towards the end of the trip as a little thing to look forward to. And then, um, this is probably the best bar ever. It's so amazing. I only bought one just because it's, they're, they're pretty spendy. But, um, chocolate coconut, yeah. Well, this is our grocery haul. We still have, like, produce, obviously, we need to buy, and, like, some breads and stuff like that just to keep us going but um I hope you guys enjoyed this and gave you some ideas on things you can bring camping um thank you all for watching and goodbye so we forgot a few things we got some veggie dogs of course which would make some like awesome suppers just easy because there's gonna be a few nights where we're gonna be driving all day and just throwing these on the grill would be really nice then the guys really love this um, tofurkey bologna style stuff. It's really similar to what I remember of being like regular bologna, except for it's just not like gross and soft like the other one. Um, so I like this, but I don't eat it a lot. Um, and this is literally the best hummus ever. It is so good. It is, I don't know the texture of it, the flavor of it, everything. It's everything. Yeah. All right. And that's all I wanted to show you guys. All right. Well, let's get to it. <laughs> we need more be boxes. Be we need more beans and boxes. Go do that, guys. Um. A DIY quick bar. I want to try my quick bar. And then my favorite comment. Here's another one. Okay, can I do the ending? <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope this. Okay, I'll just say, um. <coughs> thank you all for watching and goodbye. Why is ending a video the most awkward? I think the first one was pretty good. Okay, we'll stick with it. Well, a lot of people do that, they like cover the.
I don't know. Like, hover it? Like, I think peace. I have to be closer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, peace. <coughs> peace and love, guys. See you later.